Hello, YouTube, and welcome to my humble little studio. My name is Dan Letha. I'm a cartoonist for the Ministry Reasons for Hope, and um, we have moved from Facebook to YouTube. Uh, I didn't have my my live drawing session last week because we had some technical difficulties, but anyway, we've moved uh, these live lessons every Friday at two thirty Eastern time from uh, from YouTube or uh, from Facebook to YouTube now. So you can join me here every Friday for our cartooning lessons. And today we're gonna have some fun drawing, some lovable, adorable animals um, known as the panda or pandas. And you might learn some fun little facts along the way. So let's get uh, let's get the drawing here. <clears throat> and I'm going to switch on over to uh, to my drawing board and so if any of you have uh, comments questions feel free to weigh in in the comment section there and I'll try to answer them as best I can um, we're not going to be drawing all of these pandas here but it's always good to have some reference to know what we're drawing now one of the animals on this screen that you're looking at, my, my, digi my digital drawing board, is a little bit different from the others. Which one of these is different? Well, I put, uh, I put a koala up in the upper, upper left-hand corner on purpose. And um, my purpose in doing that is, um, I wanna ask you a question. Um, koalas are often called bears, koala bears. And in fact, they are not a, a bear, although people call them bears. I, I think they're cuddly like a teddy bear. And so people like to think of them as bears, but they're actually not bears. And so off, off he goes. Now, pandas, here's my question for you that we'll answer at the end of our time together today. Are pandas actually bears? All right. so. Again, if you want to weigh in on that, uh, you can uh, tackle that question. Maybe you guys can kind of throw some answers at me or some guesses at me, and um, we'll uh, we'll we'll talk about pandas as we're drawing them. Now, in my cartooning lessons of uh, past weeks, what I like to do is to um, we're going to make some of these pandas go away. We're just we're going to pull them up as we need them for reference. We're going to deal with this guy right now. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of break them down into basic shapes. Now, there is gonna be a common theme for today's basic shape, which is gonna make this uh, a little different, but fun. And um, you may notice that there's a lot of, a, a sort of a similar shape with pandas. And uh, I'm gonna, I wanna break these shapes down into some basics here. So uh, I'm gonna draw with red, but, um, just pretend I'm using a pencil, all right? So what, what basic shape would you pick out of our panda today? Well, this, oh, let me change my marker here. I've got it on airbrush. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna draw a, a, a shape here. What kind of shape is that? And that's a, a, about a circle, okay? So we're gonna be drawing lots of circles and ovals today. So we've got a ear shape that's, you could make an oval out of that too if you kind of uh, simplify it a little bit. We got another one there. And then um, there's these funny shapes around the eyes that pandas have too. And, and I guess I could be a little more specific with it, but we're gonna, again, we're gonna simplify today. So we've got another oval there, and then we're gonna draw where the eyes are. You can draw some circles for the eyes. Cartooning eyes are often circles. And then um, and then there's actually another, the muzzle area shape here too is kind of a, a, a an oval as well. And then we're gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna make an oval out of the nose, although it's more of a triangle, kind of a triangle shape. And then, um, and then we're gonna draw some partial circles we're gonna start right here and go up. So again, we're just studying the panda's face and uh, kind of breaking it down into simple shapes so that we can do a cartoon version of it. 
All right, so there, that's, that's super simple to do, a lot of fun. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our, our tracing, our study over there. And then we're gonna move our reference panda. I'm gonna shrink them down just a little bit. And uh, pandas, as far as coloring, are, are pretty simple too. They're just black and white. So um, here's another fun panda fact for you. Um, different kinds of animals have different names when they're in groups. And uh, you can think of a flock of birds or um, a herd of, you know, cattle or, or something like that. What do you call a group of pandas? All right, so we're going to start out with our, our big oval shape again for this head. And... Um, now the face is closer to the bottom and there's quite a bit of forehead space. And so we're gonna make our, uh, our oval shape. Yeah, it's a pretty circle-ish. All right, so something like that. And then uh, we're gonna do the ears up on top since that's a good, good orientation type of uh, thing to do. Now again, I'm drawing in red, but I'm gonna be uh, drawing over this in black when I ink it. So for those of you that might be drawing it along with me at home, that's kind of how I roll. I start out with, uh, with like a, a sketch, pencil sketch type of thing, although I use colors sometimes for my sketches. And then um, we're gonna start out with that, uh, that muzzle shape to kind of help us orient this. And I'm going to try to keep it in the middle. I'll draw a little guideline here. And then um, maybe one right about here. All right. That's going to be our eye level. Again, I'm keeping my, uh, my eyes a little bit lower. So I'm giving more of a head, more forehead shape or space. All right. So our muzzle area is going to go right about here. I'm having that go all the way down to the bottom. All right, and then oh, we've got about three watching. Anybody want to tell me where they live? Chime in and say, hey, I live in whatever state or country or where, wherever you are. And then we're gonna draw our nose right about there. Okay, and then for the eyes, we're gonna draw that big round black area first. All right, and then the other one goes right about here. And then the eyes themselves. Right about there. So not too far away from, uh, from that study that we made from tracing the the actual panda and then for cartoons animals you usually don't see the whites of their eyes you look at the photo down here and you can see that the the iris the, the colored part of the eye usually fills in most of the, the eye opening and so um, animals are mostly that way but uh, for cartoons you kind of show more white of the eye and then I guess I could color it in too if I had a, a brown marker. And then something else that we like to do in cartoons too is give uh, like little eyebrow type, type things for more expression. And then draw a couple little nostrils on the side of the nose there. And then we're gonna draw a line down I was off a little bit on the center there, but uh, we're going to draw. I was going to say kind of a part of a circle. And then you've got that little panda chin left over there. All right. Now I'm going to, I'm going to ink this. And so those of you that are sketching with your pencils, now you can follow along with my inks. And I'm going to change my color of my pen to black. And so we're gonna have some fun. Now the fur, we're gonna we're gonna give sort of a 
panda fur texture here. So have some fun making some fur squiggly lines. In the in the photo, it's more um, lines like this. But um, I'm kind of playing around with it a little bit and adjusting it. So, all right, and then draw that panda chin, that line from the bottom of the nose. We're gonna go down and over. And if you want to make them smile, you can kind of do like a little line at the end there. Now, I asked the question earlier, what is a group of pandas called? Does anybody know? Hey, Dave, good to see you. And uh, Bubba, number one. And Paul Spittler from Arkansas. Hey, welcome. All right, so um, <laughs> it's good to have some people chime in. Let me know that you guys are on the other side. All right, so we're, we're going to draw the uh, the oval for the nose. And then I'm going to cut right in where that nostril is. We're going to go around. I'm going to cut back in, follow that little guideline, and then back around there. And then for later... See, I like to put like a little reflection on the nose right there. And then you can fill in, color in the rest of that nose. Um, because the panda has a very interesting assortment of black and white on them. So you don't need a lot of colored markers to draw pandas. All right. And then... Um, for the muzzle, I'm going to draw just a little section of it right there, a little bit of it right there, and then we'll draw in the eye. And then again, if you want to draw like a smiling, smiling panda, we'll draw in just the inside part of the eyes there. I'm going to do something a little bit different with the bottom of the eyes. You know how this, uh, this mouth up on the corner, we have that like little cheek type of thing that adds a smile look to it. Well, our eyes smile too when we smile. If you have a, say you're wearing a mask because of COVID or whatever, and so people can't see your mouth, but you smile, people can actually tell a little bit because of what your eyes do. And so if you draw like a little line right there, and a little line right there, all of a sudden you have a smiling eye. All right, and then we're gonna draw up and up. And um, we'll draw in our, again, I'm changing this a little bit from my pencil sketch. There's nothing wrong with that. The pencil sketch is meant to get you in the neighborhood. And sometimes pencil sketches are a little more what we call tight than others. But sometimes they're kind of loose too, so. I, um, I like to get it sort of tight, but leave room for improvement when you uh, when you do the uh, the final touches with the inks. All right, um, and then for the for the the colored or the black patches around the eyes, and something that uh, you might want to do here because the eyes are um, the black lines are going to kind of disappear. Sometimes in animation or other things, you'll see that animators will, or the artists will leave a white line around another line that's inside a black area so that the, that part will, um, will stand out and it won't disappear. So we'll give that a try here and see what that looks like. Let's color in the rest of the black part of the eye. And um, you guys want to know what a group of pandas is called? I don't think I told you yet. It's kind of a weird name. And there's, um, is it the a crow? I think crows. A group of crows. I don't think it's ravens. I think it's crows. 
I have to look this up and check. They're called a murder. So there's really weird names sometimes for animals that are in groups. I don't know who comes up with these things, but um, a group of crows is called a murder. A group of pandas is not such a bad word, but it's still kind of weird. A group of pandas is called an embarrassment. Who came up with that? <laughs> All right, so we're going to color in the rest of that. I think that looks okay. It helps that uh, inside lines that we drew for the cheek and stuff to still kind of stand out. There actually would be another way of doing that cheek line and making it a little simpler than drawing all this stuff around or kind of like drawing that, leaving that white stroke around it. But that's that's one way to do it. All right, and then um, for our kind of eyebrow area, I want to make it look like it's part of the, well, actually the panda kind of has that. It's hard to see because the fur is all white, but I'm going to make that kind of a jaggy line because it's kind of a shape on the panda's head instead of, you know, sometimes you see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw something and then make it go away. So sometimes you see eyebrows kind of like that, which, you know, I'm going to keep that. <laughs> I don't like that. We'll draw one on the other side too. Pandas don't have eyebrows like that, but um, it kind of friendlies them up a little bit. You can draw in that or or not. I'll let you decide. But then we're going to finish up the uh, finish up the ears. And so we'll try to go real quick on the rest of it here because we got to draw one more panda. We're going to draw a body. And it's going to be a lot more circles. So, how are your pandas turning out if, you're, if you guys are drawing along with me? Now, I, I could go something like that. In fact, let's, um, let's kind of do that just to give like this little sort of a shape inside the, uh, the panda's ear. We'll kind of leave that little white line in there. All right, color in the rest of that black ear. Where do pandas live? Anybody know? You've been to a zoo? There, there are some in zoos. Sadly, there's not a lot of pandas left. It's a very endangered species of animal. And I almost gave our, our question away that I asked at the beginning, are pandas really bears? So weigh in on that on that question. Are pan uh, koalas? We often call koalas bears, but they're not actually bears. Are pandas really bears, or is it just an animal that we think looks like a bear, and so we call them bears, but they're not really bears? All right. So there's our uh, our, our panda face. Again, we we kind of studied the real picture there, used it for some reference. And then we made our cartoon version based on that. So I think that one turned out pretty well. All right, now we're gonna make that, uh, I'll leave that there for just a couple more seconds. I'll make the, the tracing go away here first. Um, let's see, there's the sketch. Give you guys that might be drawing along a little bit more time. I'm gonna make this go away in a second. Then you can come back to, uh, to watch it on the video replay. Or you could just pause it right now. I suppose that would work too. Um, all right, so there's our reference that we're going to make go away. And I want to make the drawing go away. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye. Off he goes. And then um, we're going to draw some a, a body for a panda. Now, we're going to draw something a bit different than what we see here. But I just wanted to have these uh, reference photos for us to look at so that when we draw our body for the panda, we can have uh, a little more knowledge with the, we gotta know what the, what the, what the body looks like. And um, so let's, uh, let's go back to my red mark, my, my red pen. Although you guys are gonna be using a pencil. So just pretend my red, my red lines are pencil lines. Okay. And 
Anybody else watching? We've got four people watching now. So welcome, welcome. And uh, if you guys are drawing along with me, let me know. And if there's any animal ideas that you want me to draw in the future, on future Fridays, let me know that too. So we're gonna draw, you know how you, with circles you draw snowmen? Well, we're gonna kind of do that with our panda a little bit. And again, this is our pencil sketch we're gonna ink over afterwards. So this is gonna help us uh, know where to put things. So we're gonna draw one circle here. So that's our, that's our panda body. And this is a, a cute little panda cub because they call pandas, you little pandas cubs. That might help us figure out some, a question that I asked earlier. All right, and then we're gonna draw another circle up on top for the head. So draw this one right here. And it's just a little smaller, but almost the same, same size. Okay, and then uh, for our next circle, oval circle, we're gonna draw one right here. And then we're gonna draw another one just like it on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I was gonna kind of try to count how many with one, two, three, four. So we've drawn four ovals or circles so far. And then we're gonna draw a belly line. So there's a belly oval that goes right here. Okay. And so one, two, th three, four, five. And then number six, will be the muzzle like we've drawn before now. Practicing things helps make things go faster and so I'm not gonna take so much time like we did on the, on the first time around. So set six, seven is the nose. And then eight. Right there for that one patch. Nine. For that one right there. And then these are might might get a little small. I might have to zoom in. Ten for that eye. Eleven. How many more can we do? That's eleven. Then we're gonna go up for the ears. Twelve. And 13. Now, again, if uh, you play this, if you're watching on a replay, you guys have the advantage of stopping. And then you can kind of pause and then catch up. I'm going to have to go. I'm running out of time here. So, and then um, we're going to have some fun with the feet here. Let's see, 13, 14, and then we're going to draw three toes 15, 16, 17. That's another trivia question. I'm gonna have to answer this afterwards. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 oval circles. And there's more to come. Um, we're gonna draw, oh, let's see, got the inside of the eyes too, I almost forgot. And I lost count, was that 19? Okay. 20, and then the reflection inside the eye, 21. <laughs> All right, another one right there, 22, 23. And then the reflection in the nose, 24. And then we've got 25. 26, and then um, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. All right, now, so those are the circle, so 30, I'm going to write that down, 30. 
Okay, and then we've got our partial, our non-circle lines that we have to draw to finish out our panda. So, not so many. And then there's, um, and then some little arm lines for the arms there. Okay, and then, um, and then there's the little panda chin right there. And then if you want to draw those little eyebrows. Okay, so we've got a cute little kind of a roly-poly panda. All right, real quick, I'm going to I'm going to um lighten him up a little bit so that I can ink over the top of him and you guys can kind of follow along as best best you can as we uh as we finish our little cartoon panda based on circles and ovals. So 34 all right, so we're going to do the nose. And I'm not going to color the black in quite yet. We'll see if we have time for that. I might have to just kind of... I don't want to go too long here, but... Um, might have to just leave that for after the video is done. We'll see. Right. And then like I did before, I'm going to draw part of the muzzle there. And then around here. Fur lines there. All right, since we're coming to the end of uh, our, our time, kind of closing in on the end, I asked that question and I don't want to forget to answer the question. Are pandas actually bears? Again, just to repeat, koalas are not bears. So there's other animals that we kind of nickname things. And I was wondering if pandas were one of those animals that we just sort of call it a bear because it looks a lot like a bear, but they're not actually bears. Well, they actually are bears. They're relatives of the bear family. So special, very specialized bears found in China. And so a lot of people didn't even know that they existed until I think it was sometime in the 1800s. Because uh, there, there weren't a lot of people that were going to China. It was kind of a closed off place of the world. So most of the world didn't even know that pandas existed. And you can imagine how, I mean, they look very, very different from other animals, other bears. And so uh, now I drew three little simple paw pad fingers on there, if you want to call them that. Pandas actually have six toes on each paw. another interesting panda fact. For those of you that might be new to this uh, drawing lesson, maybe you haven't seen some of my other drawing stuff yet, um, I do a, a feature called Draw It and Know It for the ministry that I work for called Reasons for Hope. And it's a quick little drawing. It's, they're, they're generally between 15 and 20 minutes long. It's a drawing feature that's also found here on, um, on YouTube. You can look it up on the Reasons for Hope YouTube channel. And I uh, try to look at these animals as we learn how to draw them from a biblical perspective and talk about some of the design features and things on them. So I've talked about some facts about the panda today. But... Um, I want you to check that feature out too. Draw it and know it. So it's kind of a, like a biblical creation drawing lesson. So here are pandas coming into the home stretch. Now, um, pandas have a, a band of coloration right there on 
So their paws are, oh, I almost forgot the little paw pads up on the paw right there. So, and then their, their uh, legs are black too. Maybe you can draw something like this. I'm going to finish that off. And there we have our, our panda. Now I'm going to, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I can, it's my, uh, my little class here. We've done our, our, uh, our half hour of drawing. So that's, we're going to give you a little bonus time here. I'm going to, I'm going to go in with a, a very dark gray instead of straight black. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to color in the, the sections that would be black. And if you go in with a dark gray, that allows the, your black lines to still stand out and you don't have to leave a stroke around some of the lines that you want to see so much, like we did on our first example, that little panda face. So that's that's a, a way that you can get by. With having your ink still kind of survive after you've colored everything in. So So being that we're on YouTube now, one thing that's very very important for YouTube is likes. So please like this video and then um, tell your friends and family about it too that the the drawing feature hopefully it'll be more accessible to more people because um, not everybody's a member or has access to Facebook and YouTube is something that you don't have to be a member of to watch and to find and to see so I'm hoping that that'll help grow our audience to uh, to bigger numbers. And now we're going to draw in the last little feet. And, uh, you know, weigh in. What, 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 what other animals would you like me to draw? And then I would, would uh, encourage you to do what I did today, too. When you um, look at an animal, a picture of something that you want to draw, Draw a little study sketch of it first. Kind of get a feel for what that thing looks like, the shapes in it, and break it down so it's more easy to understand. And then, and then draw it based on your, your study and the reference too. I think that's a very, very good way to start to learn how to draw and how to, uh, how to learn how to cartoon. So there's our fun little panda. Let's, uh, let's make the reference go away and we're going to bring back our other panda move that over here so that's the um i'm trying to figure out my layers here oh there we go okay i want to scooch him over a bit so there's our little panda lesson for today. I hope you had fun. And uh, be sure to join us next time, next Friday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern, East, Eastern time. Figure out whatever that is for your time zone. And uh, for those of you that watch me on the replay, thanks for watching. For those of you that joined me live, thanks for doing that. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.